So the first thing I'm going to do is put on my Clinique BB Cream. And this is in shade number one. Now this I always put on, kind of like dab it wherever I kind of want it. Use my fingers just to kind of blend it in. <clears throat> and then I take my this is a MAC 180 brush. I think this is supposed to be it's like a men's shaving brush, but I really like it for foundation. Find it buffs it. Oops, it on really good. And my face is a lot lighter than my body. So I tend to go a little bit darker for my foundation to kind of blend over top. Get on my forehead. <clears throat> so yeah, and I never put my bangs up in a headband when I'm doing my foundation. I probably should, but I bang my hair is really wavy, so anytime I put it in a headband or whatever, it'll just they go all weird, and then I'd have to like wet them, like redo it. So that is that, and then I'm going to use the Studio Sculpt. So we have 15 by MAC. I'm going to mix these two, which is NC15 and NW25. Just kind of weird, weird combination, but it seems to work really good. Like this is 25, which is obviously too dark for me. And I mean, and NC15 is a bit too light. So I just kind of put them side by side, like so. And then I'll like mix them on my hand so they're even and then I kind of dab it on and then I'm going to buff it out with the same 180 brush take this and buff it into my skin and I always find if I use a brush like this where you like buff it into the skin, it just looks a lot more natural and then you don't really have to use as much product. And then I'm going to use a concealer, Age Rewind. This is in light. I'm just going to take that under my eye. Always, it's always a little bit dark under there for me. I have two little kids that like to get up really, really early. And I mean, I don't like going to bed early, so usually I end up staying up late and then getting up early. Buff, just pat that in. And then anywhere else, I need a bit more concealing. Just put it in the use my finger to kind of press it. I'm not, because if you kind of wipe, you're just basically wiping it off. So I just like to kind of tap it into the skin. Sorry, I have a mirror right there. That's why I keep looking down. So that's like so. And then I'm going to set it with Studio Fix. And four, and I'm going to use my 182 Kabuki brush, and I just kind of like pat this into it. It's another, I mean, Studio Fix over foundation can could end up being quite heavy, but if you just kind of pat it on. Using this brush, it kind of just blends it. The 
doesn't make it super heavy, it just sets it. Like so. And then, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm gonna use, for my, this is a Too Faced, the bronze and the beautiful French Riviera. And I'm going to use the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I love, and it smells like chocolate. <laughs> and I'm going to use my MAC 150 big brush. And I'm just going to apply it. Kind of like a C shape. Like so. And then the other side, definitely loving bronzer lately, especially the weather here is, hasn't been very nice, so I'm getting quite fair. Put a little bit down on your nose, on your chin, this kind of brightens complexion. Like so. And then I'm going to go in with... Heart. and it's doll face by Tarte. It's a little pretty, really pretty pink. And I'm just kind of blend it into the bronzer just to give a little bit of pinky tinge. Like so. And then I'm going to go in with Benefits. I don't, for some reason, I haven't found a powder highlighter that I really like. They always look really powdery on me. I don't know if that makes sense, but they don't look very nice. So I really like this high beam. I just got a little sample that I'm going to do a review on this. So I'm just going to put this. That. A little bit down my nose. And I really like this. Even though I go, it's a liquid and I'm going over a powder, I find that it, it blends into it really nicely. You wouldn't think that you could do a liquid over a powder like that, but I mean, it doesn't, it just blends really nice for powder. It gives like a nice soft sheen, but it's not like too much. So I just kind of pat it till it all blends in. Like so, so it just kind of gives a little bit of a glow. Her cheeks and down the nose. <clears throat> I'm also going to go in just for a little bit more coverage. I'm going to add this wherever I need it to cover a little bit more. I feel like Need a bit more under the eyes. Like so. so now I'm going to do underneath my eye. And I'm going to take a bit of the primer that I used as a highlight and dab it under here. This is the Clinique Cashew Later color. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to pretty much do the same colors I did on the top but on the bottom. So this is from the Cat. Von D palette, the Limmy 
color and you can put that like so. And then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier brush, take a bit more of that color and kind of buff it around like so. that. Then I'm going to take the pencil brush again and take a bit of aquadisiac. Put that in the center. Like so. And then I'm going to take the dark purple Redemption out of the Kat Von D. Put it in the outer corner like that. <clears throat> Green a bit more, like so. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier and just kind of buff all the colors together. So it looks like that. Then I'm gonna take my Mac liner. Get it in the waterline, like so. <clears throat> then I'm going to use, I love this for the bottom. This is the Urban Decay Super Curling Mascara. And I find it fits, the brush fits perfect for under to get all the little hairs. And it doesn't transfer, which is nice. It stays on really, really well. So for my brows, I'm going to use, it's called Your Best Friend Liner, and it's in Universal Taupe. I actually got this in my birch box. It's a full size. So one side has a little brush, so I'm going to brush my brows, get my hair out of the way, <laughs> brush my brows kind of up and over, and then I'm just going to kind of fill them in wherever they're a little bit sparse. So, and I'm going to go over, just brush them out again. So, and now I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to use the NYX lip liner in, if you can see that, Dolly Pink. And I purposely kind of left some foundation on because my lips tend to be really pigmented, they have a lot of color and I kind of want this to be a light lip so I wanted to cancel out some of the color so I want it to be like baby pink I just filled in my whole lip and then I'm going to use MAC lip gloss this is the Viva Glam Gaga color, I love this pink it's so cute like so it's just a really pretty kind of plummy pink Color. And that's pretty much the whole look. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>